Welcome to Turkey Valley at 50 and the 1970s. An interesting decade indeed. More students in the high school went through the halls of Turkey Valley in the 1970s than any other decade. And we're going to talk a little bit about that with Bob Busta, who graduated in 1979. We'll also get an interesting story from Mark Merrick about his golf experiences at Turkey Valley. And Jerry Winter from the class of 1972 will talk about some of the great athletic teams they had during that time frame. And it's brought to you by John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler and the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan. Right now, let's pick up with Bob Busta. Talking with uh, Bob Busta, I uh, grew up around uh, Little Turkey, uh, still uh, lives in the area, and a 1979 graduate of uh, Turkey Valley. And uh, Bob, uh, you w- were really in school when the, the transition from the parochial to the to the all public uh, for the district uh, had already taken place, and so Turkey Valley was really a united uh, school all the way around uh, by the time you were there. So. What was it like uh, in, in the late 1970s at uh, Turkey Valley High School? Well, when I started, like in junior high, we probably had 80, oh, close, close to 90 kids in our class that went to Turkey Valley. And then the parochial kids come in. I think we picked up close to 30 just from St. Lucas and another 15, 20 from Protovan, I do believe. Okay. And we were one. Of, we were the biggest class in Turkey Valley history, the class of '79. How many did you have when we graduated? I do believe it was 135. Wow, that is big. Yeah, and at our peak, I think we were up to 139, and we had a few kids move in and out, you know, during that time frame. All through seventh grade, through my junior year, we had three in a locker. Okay. Bruce Bukite, myself, and uh, John Chipro. We're, we were locker mates from seventh grade through my junior year. And going through the halls for through that time frame was just a madhouse. I mean, it was just packed. I mean, the classes, you know, three, four years in front of me and the two, three years after, right. you know, averaged well over 100 students. Hmm. So it, it was a madhouse. Tradition. It takes years to establish. Like Turkey Valley, the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan has established a tradition of excellence stretching all the way back to the 1960s. As farming changed, so has the Farmer's Mill. The Merricks have made sure through the years they have been able to provide the product and the knowledge to help the area farmers be able to produce the food necessary to feed the world while maintaining profitability. Through thick and thin, the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan has been a leader, not only in their business, but in the community as well. From check days, to Boy Scouts, to church activities and school happenings, both at Trinity and Turkey Valley, the Merricks and their staff have provided hands-on volunteerism to help build stronger communities. Yes, it is a tradition of excellence in more ways than one that has been established by the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan, serving the farmer and the community since 1964. Talking with Mark Merrick, class of 1975 at Turkey Valley, uh, quite a long time ago, but uh, you have some interesting stories about the original uh, golf teams or when golf was uh, just starting out. Yeah, well, at Turkey Valley, um, when we were there, there was no golf course at Turkey Valley back then, so our home course was at South Winnishik. We also played some over at Fredericksburg, but mainly South Winnishik, and we'd have to take the bus over there, and and uh, we had a small team, and uh, our coach uh, tried to kind of give us the finer points of uh, golfing, which we weren't we weren't attuned in at that time. And uh, you one time to practice, I guess, uh, biked all the way from Prodovan to Kelmer. Well, several times. Uh, we weren't old enough to drive yet, so uh, myself, I'd drive from Protovan over to the course in Kelmer, and Jim Manderfield lived over by St. Lucas, and he ride his bike from St. Lucas to Kelmer to the course, and we'd meet there on a Saturday and golf a couple rounds and then bike back home. Uh, he went back to Lucas, and I went back to Protovan. Yeah, sure. When I went to Turkey Valley as a seventh grader, 
Um, that was the first time I'd been in the Turkey Valley School. And when we went to, uh, when I wrestled in uh, a wrestling match in seventh grade, that's the first wrestling match I'd ever seen. That was the first, we'd, I'd never been to any varsity events. So when uh, we went to the first football game, we had never seen a football game. Now when the kids go, they've been in the school, they've seen sporting events, it's all different. And Jim Manderfield and I, getting back to the golfing, we, Jim was about my size and we probably weighed 100 pounds when we were in ninth grade. And we were on the varsity uh, team and we went over to Southwind and we practiced there and we went there to play the first time. I remember big Don Kubish and he was a big, tall, lanky, played basketball, football, went on, played college basketball and football. And he was twice as big as Jim and I. And Jim and I would dribble our drives out there and think we hit a pretty good shot. And then big Don Kubish would come there with his big long arms and swing. And that ball would go out about 100 yards out, and then it would start taking off like a moonshot, and Jim and I would just stand there with our mouths open. we never seen anything like it. So we were pretty well beat after the first shot. Happy 50th, Turkey Valley, and all you great students and parents through the years from John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler. John really is a community guy. He's concerned about what goes on in the Turkey Valley family. He's also someone that will give you absolutely outstanding service when it comes to your insurance needs. Service, something we don't get a whole lot of these days. But John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler will give you the best possible service. That is his main selling point. And another biggie, it also falls in line with service. Since John Cuvalier is an independent agent, he can look at several companies to find the best possible solution and price for your insurance needs, no matter where you live in Iowa. For your auto, your home, your farm, your crop, your commercial insurance needs, give him a shot. John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler. Click on his card on this page for more information. One of the finest athletes in the history of Turkey Valley was Jerry Winter from the class of 1972. And he talks about playing on some pretty good teams. Yeah, um, I felt very fortunate when, when I was at Turkey Valley, and, and it has continued throughout the years, but we, uh, we had good football teams. We either won the conference or finished second, I think, each year that I was there. Uh, same way with basketball. We were conference champs a couple of times for sure. I can't remember exactly how many. And uh, in baseball, we did very well. I think we were conference champs just about every year I was there and uh, had a good little run in the tournament one year when we, uh, when we made the spring tournament over in Mason City back when it was an unclassed event. Uh, and we won our first game over there, and then we uh, ran into Davenport Central, who was kind of a perennial power at the time, and we lost to them, so we finished second in the state. But uh, there's some great memories there with uh, playing with a lot of wonderful guys. Matter of fact, we just had that 50th year reunion this summer when they uh, dedicated the, the ballpark with the improvements. Yeah, Coach and Card was but Coach Card was back for that, and we got to see him. And it had been a long time. Coach Alcock, Coach Card, uh, and then several of the guys were back. So. And you were able to earn, you know, some scholarships uh, onto Iowa State, and, and, and that had to be a, a big thrill for you. Uh, absolutely, Randy. I felt very fortunate. Um, matter of fact, I can I recall the night uh, we played Our Lady of uh, uh, Good Counsel Fonda. I think that was our opening game in that year uh, in the tournament when I was a junior in Mason City in that spring tournament, like I mentioned. And uh, I know for a fact that uh, Coach Ryerson from Iowa State was at that game, and and uh, we won the game. And I had a pretty good outing. I, I don't remember for sure, but I had a lot of strikeouts and. Was throwing the ball well, and that was the night that I think uh, he seen me live and decided to offer a scholarship, and uh, that meant the world to me. I, I was more of an Iowa fan at that time, but when Iowa State uh, offered something, then I knew I had an opportunity to play in the old uh, Big Eight Conference, uh, which had a lot of good teams, Oklahoma's and Kansas. I just took that opportunity, and it was a tremendous time in my life. That's Jerry Winter from the class of 1972, and that's this edition of Turkey Valley at 50, the 1970s. I'm Randy Novotny, and this has been brought to you by the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan and John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler.